Hey y'all, Vampire Dracula back again with another Kali Linux video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to install and connect to a WireGuard VPN. So, in this instance, I'm using WeVPN. You can find them at WeVPN.com. They provide manual configuration of their protocols that connect to their service. So, uh, for this example, I log into my account at WeVPN. I click on Manual Setup. I pick the server I want, and I pick the protocol. In this case, we're using WireGuard, and they provide uh, you a configuration file that you can download and use to connect manually to their service. So, uh, first thing we want to do is get that configuration file from the host environment onto our Kali Linux VM. We're using VirtualBox today, so go up to Devices, go to Drag and Drop, and make sure Bidirectional is turned on. Once that's done, go find the configuration file that you downloaded from your VPN provider. Now, the, your VPN provider might or might not offer this manual configuration. You'd have to check with their FAQs or their support. Um, but basically, go into your service and you know, set up and configure the, the WireGuard setup. And then download the configuration file. Once you have that configuration file, just grab it, drag it, drop it. Bam, it's on our desktop. Now, your file is probably named something different, so in some of these commands, you'll need to use the name of your specific file and not my file. So, we have it on our desktop. The next step would be to open a terminal here. We are now in the terminal, and we're going to install WireGuard. So, all of the commands are going to need sudo, unless you're logged in with root, but we're not logged in with root, so we're just going to use sudo apt install WireGuard. There we go. Okay. Put your password in for um, root there. And yes, we'd like to install this. Here it goes. It's going to grab, download, processing. Pretty quick install. There we go. All right. So we have WireGuard now installed. Now we need to move the configuration file we just placed on our desktop to forward slash etc forward slash wireguard. So to do that, first we need to move into the desktop folder. Let's make sure that file's there by listing the contents of desktop. And there it is. There's my configuration file. So let's copy that to where it needs to be. So sudo cp for copy, then the name of your file. Make sure you're typing in the name of your file. Dot conf forward slash etc forward slash WireGuard. There we go. As long as you didn't get any error messages or anything like that, and then this command is executed successfully. Now, all the commands will be in the description below. So if you missed something or want to follow down uh, what commands and copy and paste them yourself, check the description below. They'll all be right there. So now we need to enable and start a service on this device. So I'm just gonna actually gonna copy this in here because it's pretty long. Uh, sudo systemctl enable systemd hyphen resolved dot service. You'll see it created some system links. So that means it executed successfully. Now this enable command uh, that we just did will allow this service to automatically start when the VM is turned on. That's very important, so you don't have to manually start this every time. Uh, but in this case, since we just enable it, we do need to start it. So sudo systemctl start systemd hyphen resolve d dot service. Hit enter on that, and there we go. System resolve dot service is now started. Now we need to create some links for this next command to work. So we're going to paste this in sudo ln hyphen s user slash bin slash resolve ctl space user slash local slash bin slash resolve conf. There we go. That executed successfully as well. Now we're ready to connect to the VPN. Yeah, it's that simple. It's that quick. So Here's the command for that, sudo wg slash quick up, because we want to turn the connection up or on. And then this is where you type in the name of your file. Now, you don't need the .conf on there or any other extensions. It's just the name of the file. And like I said, your file name might be different, so make sure you're typing in your file name. Enter. You should see something very similar to this without any errors or anything like that if you've 
typed all the previous commands incorrectly, and this basically means we're connected. But how do we know we're connected? Well, let me show you. There's another command for that. So let's clear out this, and we'll do sudo wg show. Simple as that. There we are. We're connected. Basically, if you're seeing latest handshake and something similar to what you have on the screen, that means you're connected to the VPN. That's it. Painless, quick and simple. Very, very easy. So, what if we want to turn the VPN off? What if we don't need any VPN anymore? Well, clear that. WG, or sudo, WG, quick, down, because we want to turn it off, down, off, same thing. And then uh, US, and E, WG, down. If you saw something similar to what's on the screen right here, that means the command executed successfully and it's down. But how do we know it's really down? Well, we can go back to that previous command we had, sudo wg show, and it shouldn't show anything because there's nothing to show because it's not connected. So that is basically it. If you all found value in this video, if this helped you out, if this got you connected to your WireGuard VPN manually, let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, please like it. If you want to see more content like this and get notifications of when we upload new videos, definitely hit the sub button and ding that bell. Thanks, you all, for watching. Catch you next time.